Jenkins and this is my new Method Pro drone that I received on November the 15th, finally. Um, I ordered it on the DJI website on September the 28th, uh, just after it uh, came out. And uh, as everyone knows, there have been some delays with uh, getting the drones out to, uh, to the people. So, finally got it, played with it for uh, about a week or so. I took it to, uh, to Florida last weekend um, and I posted some videos on my YouTube channel, so you can check that out. And I'm very happy with it. Um, it it's basically uh, a Phantom 4 in a much smaller package. I had a Phantom 3 Pro before, uh, which I really liked, but I wanted something smaller that I can uh, basically take with me a little bit easier. So this is what I got. Uh, and as you can see, it's a small package. Um, I like it a lot. Like I said, it does everything that a, uh, that a Phantom does. Um, I have no problems with it whatsoever. Battery life has been good uh, as advertised. I haven't flown it the full you know, 27 minutes as they advertise, but um, you know, based on power consumption in, on my flights, I can say that um, it should run you know, at least 25 minutes. Again, it all depends on how you use it. Um, but one thing I noticed, and I'm sure that other Mavic Pro users can attest to this, uh, it runs pretty hot and it, it makes sense, right? You got a lot of electronics in a very, very small package and um, you know this this is the package and um, with all the functionality built in uh, you, know, you get your GPS and you get your sensors and what have you um, there is just a lot of electronics in a small pace, a split, uh, space and as a result uh, it generates a lot of heat so the thing gets pretty hot so what DJI did to kind of uh, prevent the unit from overheating it uh, built in an, a fan so behind the gimbal here uh, and I probably can't see it but um, there are some openings and basically it allows air to flow through from the front to the back where there's two openings as well so that the cold air will flow over the circuitry and, and cools the uh, the internal electronics that way um, if for whatever reason it gets hot um, a fan will start actually uh, blowing or forcing air from the front and pushing it out in the back. So I was curious to see uh, how hot it gets and you know where the heat exactly uh, is coming from or where it's located. So what I'm going to do is I am going to do a uh, infrared analysis of this particular drone while it's in the air. So I'm just going to let it take off and, and, and hover and um, during that period I'll take infrared video so we all can see where the heat comes from and where it dissipates. Um, and hopefully we'll also be able to see that you know once the fan turns on um, how hot the, the unit gets so um, here it is there's no wind so we should be able to uh, make some nice video here in the backyard so here we are here's a drone in the air and as you can see it gets pretty hot um, as you can it's about 100 degrees, 106 degrees, even the rotors get pretty hot. But you can see it's uh, mainly on the bottom. going higher because I'm under it. So the battery is getting now pretty warm as well. So the whole unit is really heating up. by just hovering. Now when you fly of course there's airflow which cool it off a little bit but uh, just hovering it gets hot.
yeah, about 102, 104 degrees. Okay, so I just landed the drone just 30 seconds ago. And again, this is all um, turned off, so I turned it off 30 seconds ago. So you can see the whole unit uh, relative to its environment is is, is pretty hot. Um, if I've put my hand on it, it doesn't feel all that hot. I mean, this is just actually cool. Um, even though it says 90 degrees. Um, but you can see, see really that the, uh, the motors get warm and they, they, they feel warm, not hot, but warm. And then the bottom of the unit. And uh, you probably can't see it in this video very well, but there's some, some ridges um, that kind of dissipate the heat. Um, I'm sure the electronics are mounted right on top of it. So it gets rid some rid of some of the heat but yeah so there you go it gets pretty hot but again uh it doesn't seem to overheat so that's a good thing so and again i let it hover for gosh that's about a good 15 minutes so um normally you wouldn't do that you would fly it and some of the heat would dissipate through uh, through the air so but again i wanted to show you guys this uh pretty interesting